Also caught on camera, new details on a rush hour shooting on the Katy Freeway happened this morning just after 8 near Voss Road. Adam Bennett spoke with the eyewitness. Adam, he's telling you the shooting came after another incident a short time before. That's right, Lynn, and this case is full of twists. After reaching out all day long to Hedwig Village PD, we just heard back from their investigators within the last half hour. They tell us they believe the motive here was robbery, and they tell us that the person who was shot was the guy who pulled the gun. Along one of the busiest stretches of one of Houston's busiest freeways. I was just freaking out. Shots fired captured in this 17 second long cell phone video. Everyone I show it to you, you just can't believe that someone would do that. We agreed to keep this witness anonymous. He told us he was driving to work when he witnessed another incident moments before the shooting. I saw this guy jump out. He had stopped, he slammed on his brakes and, and stopped an, another car that was behind him, like blocked him in. And he jumped out and started yelling at him. The witness exited I-10, waited at a red light, then got back onto the highway. I see the same guy doing the same thing to another car, a different car, and he blocked him in, and then he he had a gun in his hand, so I started shooting the video, and uh, I guess he made the guy get out of his car, and they were on the shoulder, and then he started opening fire on the guy. He heard two shots, called 911, got no answer, then drove to a nearby police station and gave them the video. Air 11 later captured what appears to be one of the SUVs in the video, being towed away from the Hedwig Village Police Building. I hope that the victim is okay. The investigator tells us that after those first two shots, then there was a struggle for the weapon, and that's when the suspect was shot in the head, again, with his own gun. He was taken to the hospital where we're told he is in good condition and under observation. The authorities identify him as 29-year-old Carlos Marquez. We're told he's been charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. Len? Man, there's a lot going on during rush hour on that busy stretch of I-10. Adam, thank you.